Good morning and welcome back to the Urban Preparedness Channel. I am your host, the Urban Cockroach. Today's video, uh, I actually owe you all an apology. Uh, one of my previous uh, videos, I was talking about uh, holsters uh, from Craft Holsters, which is a company I absolutely love, uh, and I still love them. The problem was, I accidentally misrepresented that company. Unbeknownst to me at the time, and don't worry, the company didn't misrepresent themselves either. I just received information uh, from a not-so-good source that stated they were an American-based company. They are not. Uh, they're actually a European company. However, they are still all handmade products. I am personally still incredibly satisfied with their product, so I'm going to continue representing Kraft Holsters, even though Kraft Holsters is not an American-based company. So, what I wanted to talk about really quick, uh, one, I'm sorry for anybody that uh, viewed my channel um, and made a purchase based off of the fact that they thought it was an American-based company. Now, for those of you that purchased their product strictly based on the fact that they are a quality product, and they definitely are, awesome. I'm glad that I helped you out. For any of you who purchased a product assuming that it was an American-based company, I am deeply sorry for accidentally misrepresenting that company. I should have done more research. The company actually reached out to me and specifically asked me uh, to correct that for any of my viewers, so that's that's what I'm doing, because they don't want to be uh, misrepresented, and I don't want to misrepresent them either. However, that being said, I still love their company, I still love their holsters, and I'm going to continue to represent their holsters um, to the best of my abilities. So, now that I got that inconvenience out of the way, I do have a couple more things made by Craft Holsters that I absolutely want to talk about today. One of them is this uh, J-frame in the small of the back holster. So for those of you that don't know what an SOB holster is, it's a small of the, head, the back holster. Um, I actually had that backwards. So it goes right here on the small of your back so that you can reach back and draw your pistol. I love a small of the back holster because my backup, my personal backup holster, is uh, a Smith & Wesson um, 38 Special. Uh, well, it's a 357, but uh, I, I use 38 Special in it, um, mostly because it's a snub and I don't need the powder uh, behind your 357. I just find it to be unnecessary. I already carry a Kimber Custom Stainless Model 2 as my primary carry, so my backup does not need to have that much stopping power as well. And with a short snub nose barrel, I don't want that much powder behind it. It's bad for my wrists. Now, this holster is another one of those handcrafted holsters by Kraft. If you look really close, the stitching is absolutely incredible on this holster. Flip it around to the back here. All of their stitching is really really well done consistent I've taken it to the range a few times um, I purposely put it on the front of my belt just so I could uh, crawl through the gravel to see if that stitching would tear apart and it did not it's actually really 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 durable stitching uh, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, let you know that if you have um, like a Rossi 38 really any short uh, J-frame revolver um, in 38 357 uh, is going to fit this holster perfectly. So if you haven't been over to their website yet, because you know I had only previously shown holsters for you know my 1911, uh, they do make other quality holsters. So you can get you know your your 38. Uh, they make holsters for almost every type of pistol. I know all of the different sizes of pistol. They 100% cover. Um, there are a number of pistols that. They don't have on their website, but I'm sure if you reached out, because of the way that they make all their holsters, I am 100% convinced that they would be able to make something for you. Or point you in the direction of a pre-existing holster that they already make that would also fit your model. Now, if you're, if you're carrying something completely off the wall, 
uh, like a Desert Eagle or something, um, in 50, you're not going to find it on their website. Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean that they wouldn't be able to help you, um, but I have no idea. You would have to reach out uh, to their marketing team and ask them if that was something they do. Uh, they would be able to let you know. That would be really cool. If you, they do, you need to make it happen. And then, drop a link to it in my video, because I would love to see that the, the product that they make for something like a freaking 50. Uh, but no, it's not on the website, so don't go on there looking for a holster for your Desert Eagle. Uh, but if you have a J-Frame revolver, these small of the back holsters are incredible. And the retention with this is beautiful. One of the things that absolutely drives me nuts about most J-Frame holsters is that they have horrible retention. You're not going to have that problem with this. And if you go to their website and pick up a small of the back uh, J-Frame holster, another thing I recommend getting with it is this guy right here. Uh, it's another handmade leather holster, but this one is for your speed loaders. It is freaking awesome. Uh, everybody knows, like mine, uh, it's a, a five barrel, okay, or a five cylinder revolver. So, after five shots, she runs dry, and anybody that's tried to load that by hand, it takes a little bit of time. If you have a speed loader, though, you can run out your 15 rounds really quick. So, if you're running a J-frame, or any friggin', uh, you know, five, five or six cylinder revolver, you need to have your backup speed loaders. So, make sure if you go over to the website, you pick up a speed loader carrier, too, and again, for the previous mistake that I made uh, when I said that it was an American-based company, I deeply apologize for that. They are not an American-based company. They are a European-based company. And they were very forthcoming about it. As soon as they saw my video, they reached out to me and was like, Hey, Urban Cockroach, we love your channel to death. It's absolutely amazing. But you made a big mistake and we need you to fix it. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm fixing it. And I'm also letting you know that even though they're not an American-based company... I still have a lot of confidence in their company because any other company could have just said, we didn't make that mistake, so we're just going to let it slide. But they had the incredible, trustworthy, and awesomeness to reach out to me and say, hey, Urban Cockroach, we don't want to accidentally misrepresent ourselves to any of your fans, and we don't want any dissatisfied customers because they thought we were an American-based company. Please reach out to them and let them know we are not American-based. So that's what I did in the beginning of this video, and then I touched on it again right here at the end of the video. But as always, the Urban Cockroach has other stuff I need to do today, so I'm going to scurry on out of here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I know this video wasn't super exciting, but stay tuned because we do have some exciting videos coming down the pipeline. If you take a nice little look over there on the corner, yeah, you see those? They look like M67 fragmentation grenades. They're not. Um, those are actually airsoft grenades, uh, but they do utilize a small explosive charge. So uh, we're going to bring one of our previous guests back on again, and I'm going to try and throw a couple of those at him and ruin his day. We're going to just see exactly how well they work for crowd control. But shh, don't tell him. <laughs> All right, I'm going to scurry on out of here.